Hello Ratchets, welcome back to another video. Brad and I are going to make pie and lemonade. We have lemons from his tree and we have this little basket. I'm gonna pick these lemons and put them in the basket. <laughs> okay, I'll show you guys a lemon tree. And look at my bucket hat. Well, it's Brad's bucket hat. <laughs> Here are the lemons. Look at them, delicious. Okay guys, I'm picking this lemon from the tree and then putting it here. We're gonna just get a bunch of them and make fresh lemonade. This is our blueberry crisp pie. I got it from Briarmere Farms on Long Island and brought it here frozen and we just heated it up in the oven. And we also made this whipped cream by hand, whipped it by hand. Yep. It was all me because I'm strong and Brad's weak and he said he couldn't do it. Um, that's not how I remember it, but whatever. <laughs> and then those are all the lemons. We just washed it, and now we're going to squeeze it in the pitcher. Wow, fresh from the tree. Yeah. We just juiced all of these lemons. We're gonna strain the seeds out into this big pitcher. I'm recording, by the way. This lemon juice is very sour. I just tasted it. So we're gonna add sugar and then water and ice and it should be good. We finished the lemonade and now we're gonna put it in these cups. Oh, see, it's so much easier after the first piece. Wow. Is it not focusing? It's focusing. Okay. Now we're gonna put some whipped cream on it. <laughs> oh my gosh, bone apple teeth. No, sh she's like a master, a master chef. Well, we already started eating it because it was so good mm -hmm. and we couldn't resist, but what's your reaction, Brad? Very good, the crust especially. And yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try the lemonade for you guys. It's really sour still. So <laughs> we thought that we thought that the lemons were pretty sour and we added a lot of sugar. And we thought that, you know, also adding the ice after would make it less sour, but it's still pretty sour, so maybe I would add more sugar, but it's really good and refreshing. And it came from the tree, straight from the tree, so i'm happy with it and this pie is mad good this is the blueberry crisp one they have like a regular blueberry one with regular crust but i think this is delicious you guys should go to briarmere farms in riverhead and try it okay bye wow we're on south mountain right now about to catch the sunset this place is so pretty even brad's never seen it like this this is what I imagine Arizona to be like, to be honest. Just this mountain alone. Yeah, we'll show you the view when we get to the top. We just saw the sunset on South Mountain and this place is so dope because you can simultaneously see the whole city of Phoenix and see the stars in the sky. So Brad and I spent a bunch of time just, you know, identifying all the constellations. And then now we're going to go get Raising Cane's, which is a chicken place that Felicia told me about. And she says the most amazing chicken she's ever eaten, even better than Chick-fil-A. So we'll see if that's the case. 
So there's the box combo, the three chicken combo. <laughs> I feel like you're using binoculars to read that egg. sign. I'm deaf. Let's actually see this. Can you see it from here? Mm. Okay, Felicia says to get the box combo. Only four chicken fingers? I'm sorry, but I'm starving. Oh, it comes with fries. No, we would get like a whole thing. Like we would get more than box this combo, up. pinkle cut fries, cane sauce, Texas toast, coleslaw. Tea. I'm gonna get like the okay. tray. Yeah, let's get. My family members want to eat, so let's not get any of this. Yeah, I agree. Raisin canes, Texas toast, buttered on both sides, as per Felicia's suggestion. Hella sauce, crinkle cut fries, tailgate chicken fingers. <laughs> Look at them sitting here, waiting for the chicken that they're not gonna eat. Do you like it? Obviously. Obviously. Okay, wait, let me turn this around. So I got my chicken, my fries, and my toast, and my sauce right here, and this lemonade that we made earlier. <laughs> this is literally a mukbang. There's my name. That's okay. Okay, let's see. Oh, it's recording. Yeah, it's recording. It's fine if you're kneezing and this guy is so embarrassed. Right. She's a little stale. Don't you think? Okay, the sauce. Apparently the sauce is amazing. It smells like... I don't know what it smells like. Oh. I mean, there's a reason I ordered a tray of the chicken, but only a small clam. And fries. I think there's like paprika in that. And the sauce. Texas toast. <laughs> Tastes like buttery bread. Wow, look at my stunning review. Okay, the chicken. The most important part. Mm -hmm. part apparently better than Chick-fil-A's chicken sandwiches. Oh, I should have gotten some without the sauce, but we'll try it with the sauce first. Wow, that's good. Okay, Felicia, maybe you know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's like really juicy. Mm -hmm. The chicken's really juicy and the skin is very crispy. Wow, that's good. Look at the dog. Rufus is finally sitting for you. <laughs> I know. He's like, look, I'm sitting. <laughs> He's like, give me the chicken. Mmm, it's so good. Wow. Okay. I mean, it's 9 o'clock, so, no. What time is it? 9.30? Yeah, 9.30, I think. 9.40. It's 9.40. What a day. We're gonna try to see the sunrise tomorrow. <laughs> After coming back from that big adventure. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna eat, shower, go to bed. And then sunrise. We need to figure out where. Okay guys, I'll see you tomorrow. This chicken is delicious. Eat Raisin Cane's. Instead of Chick-fil-A, put Chick-fil-A out of business. <laughs> They're closed on Sundays anyway, so. Really? Okay. Yeah. Whereas I feel like Raising Canes is always open. There was a lot of people there. Okay, bye.